Welcome, welcome, welcome to Watches Unboxed. And this time around, we have a review of the Orthodromo Group B Corsica from Pete. Enjoy. How's it going? Welcome to this unboxing video and a brief review of the Autodromo Group B Series 2. I'm Pete at Watch Wheel Spin on the Gram. This is my first tilt at an unboxing video, so go gently. I'll try and do it Tim Mosso one take style. So the watch is named for the 1980s rule set for cars contesting the World Rally Championship. A uh, short-lived period in the sport of sparse regulation and intense competition between manufacturers such as Audi, Lancia, Peugeot and Ford. The cars were flame-spinning juggernauts with huge horsepower and were really pushing the envelope of technology to go faster and spend more money than their competitors. The cars had a presence, sound, and impression of speed unlike any other car category or period in rallying. Unfortunately, the era was drawn to a premature end in 86 after a number of accidents down to both the ferocity of the cars, their bleeding edge materials like not enough fiberglass around flammable metal, which never ends well, and ongoing struggles with spectator control at certain events. Although modern WRC cars are technically faster than the Group B cars of old, uh, their noiseless efficiency at carrying speed betrays their pace and makes them seem comparatively dull. And we look back on Group B with nostalgia for being the last truly unhinged era of motorsport. So here we go. Here's the box delivered with some Autodromo stickers. Little Group B booklet with some nice art shots of Group B rally cars. Bit of a blurb about Group B rally. Artist's impression perhaps of what an Autodromo sponsored Group B rally car might look like. The box itself has a retro 1980s artwork on it and a bit of um, Group B spot UV on the box there and the watch case itself is a folded aluminium with a plate on the top denoting the model, which is BP005, so named for Bradley Price, the founder of the company and the fifth model of his creation, and I guess that's the watch serial number. And pop it open and reveal the watch. So it's available in five colorways. I've gone for the Corsica Blue version. Um, the watch takes inspiration from the Group B era, of course. Subtle nods to other 1980s design efforts, such as Gijaro designed Seiko watches. Uh, Gijaro coincidentally penned the uh, Lancia Delta, which became a Group B rally car as the S4 model, as well as obvious design cues from Porsche Design and their work with IWC, and has a, a Genta sports watch-esque integrated bracelet. Um, Bits and pieces of automotive design language in there, which I've always admired about Autodromos. They don't bash you over the head with it like other car-inspired watches with tire tread straps, amongst other tropes. So the watch was designed by lifelong motorsport enthusiast Bradley Price. The design language evoking classic sports cars and race cars and um, the gauges in them, such as the black pin, black dot over the hand pinion like a tachometer on a race car and the numbered indexes around the chapter ring and subtle stepping of the face to the minute track. When I first saw it, when it first came out in 2016, I immediately thought of the gauges in my first cars, 1980s Toyotas amongst other things. Um, speaking of the first edition, so this is the Series 2, the first edition had a monoblock case and was solid at the link here and was only suitable for a pass-through NATO strap. Uh, now they've added the uh, integrated bracelet with a traditional spring bar design and you can then add a NATO strap or maybe a, a hold rally strap after the fact if you felt so inclined. The case is a mix of titanium and stainless steel and is made of three parts, the bezel, the chassis, and the case back. Not sure what's made of what, but um, it's a very light watch to the feel. Not sure on the exact gram count, but it's, it's light, trust me. It's 39 mil side to side, but the more important measurement is probably here. 
so it's about 55 or 56 mils but as you can see it doesn't taper straight down from the chassis it flares out quite a way so for the narrow of wrist it might uh, stick out a wee bit i'll chuck it on show you how it fits my wrist i think is about six and a half inches but um could probably do with a link out but i just sized it quick and dirty so i could wear it around and make the video the bezel has notches um which puts me in mind of the center lock wheel nuts on race cars which gives the watch a sporty and technical look and uh, isn't completely smooth which would probably lend a gentler dressier style and i suspect that could even be a tooling feature as the means by which to fit the bezel to the chassis screw it down perhaps uh, the case chassis has a polished chamfer top and bottom hopefully the camera will pick that up and that continues down the outer link of the bracelet as well um, it's a minor detail but you know it gives validity to the commitment of the design and puts to shame watches arguably that are higher echelon maybe a lot more in price and higher brand names perhaps um the now signature autodromo screws at three and nine are in residence um again a small touch admirable that they have committed to that design feature across all of their watches as they've released them throughout the years so as i mentioned i've gone for the corsica blue version the name being a hat tip to the rally pedigree inspiring this watch and the tarmac surface rally around the corsica Ireland being a flagship round for the World Rally Championship. It's a full commitment kind of rally, zero room for error. Most stages have a vertical drop to your right and a solid rock face to your left, so it's either a king maker or a car breaker. The blue has gorgeous texture to it, a uh, pearlescence rather than being completely matte, which again, a phone camera is probably not going to do a great job of picking up. And the dial is stepped up in the center from the indexes around the outside but the pink indexes step up to meet it and gives something more for the eye to behold than just being a completely flat flat plane it sits on the chapter ring comes down from the sapphire glass which again has a, a beveled edge to it another nice touch the chapter ring has arabics at the hour markers as well as having a radial groove again the camera can't really pick that up but it's there and it's a really nice detail. Again, something that you don't necessarily expect from a micro brand watch. The bracelet has arrow straight finishing on the outside and has the bevel that carries on from the case on the outside. However, the links underneath are curved like a more traditional bracelet. So it doesn't turn it into an epilator, which is a, a bonus for modern watch bracelets. The butterfly clasp is finished with the Autodromo logo. The case back secured with screws and has Autodromo logo engraved in the back and watch details. The movement is a Miyota 9015. Yes, it has the ghost date position, so pull it out one. There's no date. Pull it out again, change the time. Um, you can hear the rotor audibly in motion, but it's a utilitarian sports watch by a micro brand what's the harm in hearing the engine running um, my overall impression with this watch is it's a win it's retail is 925 dollars it was about 700 pounds when i ordered it so punchy compared with some other time only models by micro brands but i believe it stacks up to be more than some of its parts and it's a cracking watch that i think would give some entry swiss models a run for their money and probably their emmental too well, cheers for watching. Hopefully that was informative for you. And if you have any questions, please give me a shout at Watch Wheelspin on the gram. Otherwise, peace out.